I just got set up over a white oak it is being hammered the ground is destroyed underneath it and I've got another one back off my left shoulder that might even look a little better oh I was on the way in here and I saw three does stand up out in these planted pines that surround this uh, draw I'm in and they kind of bounce down through a little bottom over there rather than approach the way I normally would I cut and got well upwind of them by probably a hundred yards and slipped through the pines and uh, as I was easing in here I happened to look out towards where they had run and I saw them but they didn't see me so I backtracked swung out a little further and approached this spot and where I'm at right now I'm probably within 80 yards of where they were at so I, I ended up getting to the base of this tree I'm up and I was standing there uh, tied my pull up cord to my bow and looked up and I could see one of them's head just over the rise so uh, I slipped over here and got the tree between me and them and, and climbed and got set up as far as I know I didn't spook them I think they're still holed up in those pines really good wind on them if they decide to come in here. I'm a little unsure about this tree I'm up. I feel kind of exposed. But uh, I'm really more excited about hunting this thing in the morning. And I may make an adjustment. Uh, I may stay up the same tree but I may reposition my stand. I'm going to end up being really high if I do. But I got this limb right over the top of me. It's literally three inches above my head. And uh, I kind of had to stop right here. Or either I was going to have to get completely above it. probably about 18 foot right now and uh, I get above it I'm gonna be about 24 to the platform that's really higher than I want to be and uh, on top of that good chance that anything I shoot is gonna be below me oh even more so anyway we set up super windy I think acorns are just raining out of this tree every time a big gust comes up we just had a really hard shower while I was getting set up it lasted for about two minutes and it stopped and uh, I think the rain's gone for the rest of the weekend But uh, we're going to sit back, see what happens. This is a magical place. You just never know what's going to show up. So uh, let's see if something comes in. And if it does, let's see whether or not they pick us off.
wind is howling and uh, it spooked that buck he ran back out here and I saw him on, around the edge of this draw a few minutes later but he didn't like that wind but I just had I see two does they just came out of the pines and more than likely they're going to feed this way so we may let one fly here before too long
she is. No, she didn't go. I don't know if she probably ran. If I had to guess, probably close to 100 yards. But uh, we didn't even bother with the blood trail. Uh, I could probably see her for 65 or 70 yards, and uh, then I lost sight of her. But she was pretty much laying where I thought she'd be. Uh, turned out to be a good hunt this afternoon. I had that really good buck in there, and ended up seeing four does. And uh, shot this one at four yards. And this is going to be uh, buck kill number 174. It's going to be traditional kill number 126. And uh, this is number four with this old tournament bow right here. So. I'm going to go ahead and uh, field quarter and get her in this cooler on some ice and then we're going to haul the carcass off and see if we can't do it again in the morning.